I'm just going to show you some brief things how to get into Family Search and to the different programs that are available. Uh, this one is uh, FamilySearch.org. It's the, the free program. Uh, you simply go in here and you sign in to start your free your free account. You just need to ask, access it with a password, and you need to just have your cell phone. Once you do it and you've created some family names in there, you start with yourself your parents' name and your grandparents' name, and you just start building your family record. Once you do this, this is one form that you'd look at it. This is called a fan. This happens to be Rose's fan of her family. It's a very cool way to see your family tree. The other way is the normal pedigree way, like here. You see these little blue things right here? These are the hints that we were talking about. When you do a hint, this happens to be a Mary certificate for this Jesse Hurst. And we simply review it and to make sure that this is simply our ancestor, Jesse. And we're just going to attach this record by comparing and attaching it to the tree. And once you do that, it, it um, creates more hints because they say, oh, this is your record, this is your family. And it just starts building more hints. And once you do that, then, like I say, you start getting this beautiful pedigree chart that comes clear over here and we're going to this um, we, we happen to be with with the Cartier, with Rose's family we've gone back probably 16, 16 generations on different lines and on Sue's tree we've been able to go a lot further on that one um, with the Smith family, we're getting a really good start, and we've gone back probably eight generations on at least one side with them. The other one that we use is the Ancestry.com. This happens to be Sue's line, and they have the same thing. We These little hints right here, um, and you just start working these hints. And every time that you do a hint and you agree that it is your ancestor, the computer auto-populates more hints for you to do it. If you'll notice that on hers, this is hers clear back here. This is Sue. And this is a line that we've just been working on. And right now we are, uh, with this one, we're back at 1450 in England, which is amazing. This is information that she didn't have. And through all of the research and all the indexing that's done throughout the world, we were able to connect this. This is one example that you can add stories and pictures online so that all the pictures that you have that are in albums or books or or just in a drawer you can scan them and you can put them into this site and they're there for posterity and for you to look at this happens to be my father and pictures that have been downloaded onto this site there's uh, pictures of weight of all of my family here and him specifically uh, we have stories um, that are down here. His family, their short histories that, that have been added from brothers and sisters and from his own um, life history that he typed before he passed away. And so that's all been added here. And these stories are here forever. And since he is passed on, anyone who wants to know about him can go here and they can look up uh, Gilbert and Enos Marriott and they can look him up and they can find him and they can look at this information that is here and say, oh, I might be related to him. We recently have added a lot of family pictures for Rose and for Ruby. And it's when they did that, one of Rose's cousins that she didn't know existed saw that picture and saw that it was, there was information, contacted her, and since then they've connected. And so they've been able to connect as a family, and his family that he didn't have information about, he now has through this, through this family search. So that's part of the different, those are just two of the 60 programs that are available uh, with this. Uh, one thing that we wanted to mention is that we are here at the Senior Center, the Giles County Senior Center, on Thursdays from 9 to 1. Uh, if you want and need individual assistance, we can make uh, 
appointments with you. We can be here or we can be at the library uh, or at your home if you have records that you need to add to it. We'd like to thank David Neal, who is the director here at the Giles County Senior Center, for making it possible for us to be here and to help us with the genealogy and the, with the seniors that are here. This is a great thing, and like you said, we thank David for doing this because if it hadn't been for David allowing us to do this, we wouldn't be where we are today. So we thank you for allowing us to do this. And I was saying, you know, uh, great uh, two of them to pop up and like, oh my God, how did you get that? You know, because I didn't give it to you, you know, but this is just something that they can do. And we're thankful for it. And of course, we're not as smart as they are. We go home, we be scratching and digging on the computer, you know, punching buttons, you know. We get flustered and we tell our grandson to come help us, you know, and because they're doing it so fast, we can't see what he's doing, you know. We said, slow down, you know. <laughs> we are uh, senior citizen folks, you know, we have to be slow with us. But, you know, this is a great thing, you know. I don't, and this morning my husband say, what's today? Is day? Did we take our books today? Not today. <laughs> then he get here today and they were here. First thing he looked at me, he said, oh my God, we don't have our books today, <laughs> you know. But uh, this is a great thing and he just loved it. He is just, when he first started doing it, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm not going to fool with that. That is too much trouble, too much. Then after he started doing it, then he rubbed off on me. So this is what I'm doing too. Okay, what I wanted to share with the people is the main reason I wanted to start doing this is I wanted to find a connection to Cherokee Indians. I'd heard all my life that they were somewhere in my, you know, ancestry, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how to research it. And... At the right time, they showed up, and I mean, it didn't take us long at all to find the connection. And uh, pictures of the Indians, the uh, trials they went through, joining the Trail of Tears, and it's, it's really interesting. I've been working on my family tree since '85, and mm -hmm. I'm just now getting it put onto computer. Mm -hmm. So that's 40 plus years. Mm -hmm. And when you're working with a smith, it gets to be fun. Hello. There's, there's several different uh, spellings, and if you are a farrier, you're a smith. If you're a wagon right, you're a smith. If you're a goal right, you're a smith. So it gets to be an occupational name, and it's very hard to discern which one is yours. So it's been fun.